The Little Things is directed by John Lee Hancock and stars Denzel Washington as Joe Deke Deacon, Rami Malek as Jim the Detective, and Jared Leto as, I don't even know, the creepy guy <laughs> that is suspected to be the killer in these murders that are happening in Los Angeles in 1996. There's nothing here you haven't seen before. The movie, quite frankly, is not interesting um, because we've seen it before. However, it does offer, uh, it does have a thought-provoking thing that happens at the end of the movie, which I'm going to talk about, and it's going to tie everything together, so if you don't want to know spoilers, you can come back after you watch the movie. It currently is on HBO Max and is also released in theaters, or if you just don't care about spoilers, feel free to stick around. Like I said, this movie doesn't really offer too much of things we haven't seen before in other mystery thrillers, but it does have one thought-provoking question that happens, like like I said, at the end of this movie, which is Jared Leto's character the actual killer? Between all of these things, uh, all of the events that happen between the movie, I don't think he is. I, I think he just has a sick... <laughs> Like, he's definitely a disturbed person, but, like, I think he's just messing around with um, Remy Malik and Denzel Washington's characters. Um, just teasing them that, well, if I am, then there would be evidence. But if I'm not, then, you know, you don't know. You don't have any evidence on me. That's the main thing about this movie, that yes or no. Like, there's a lot of evidence that points to him being the killer. But there's also, in the movie, there's no evidence of him doing anything that could lead him to be the killer but overall i just do not recommend this movie it was two hours too long <laughs> the characters were great obviously the three main characters were phenomenal um in bringing out the best of what they got with these characters but i do not recommend this movie um but something i do recommend is either red dragon that stars edward norton and anthony hopkins or silence of the lambs those are phenomenal mystery thrillers that, uh, I mean, they've been around for ages. I'm pretty sure you've seen them, but I would recommend those if you haven't. And yeah, so I guess uh, throughout this week, just stick around. I'm going to be doing some uh, movie reviews of my favorite movies that, you know, I've been wanting to do for a while. Now that I have a YouTube channel, obviously these are movies that have been out for a while, but these are my favorite movies that I've been wanting to review and talk about. Uh, there's also some music that I want to review as well and just kind of start getting the YouTube channel started. So it's a slower process, but bear with me. Uh, we're we're going to get there. <laughs> and uh, like I mentioned before, um, down in the description, there is my Spotify playlist that has uh, the astronaut playlist that I have on there. Uh, have a listen to it. It's more of a somber, just a very, I don't know, check it out. <laughs> and also... Uh, there is also a tip link at the bottom of the description as well. If you want to recommend a um, music or movie, by all means, uh, send me a thing there and I'll get around to reviewing it. And that's it. Thank you for watching and see you later. Bye-bye.